Patrick Pierce at the ranch, having more fun again. This is our third Toys at the Ranch. <laughs> I've already taught you a little bit about Toys at the Ranch. How they can be great entertainment. And uh, also very educational. Kids learn about safety, they learn about mechanics, they learn about how things work, all kinds of neat stuff. This is another ranch toy. Yeah, yeah. You don't get this in, you know, if you live in an apartment building, even a condominium complex. No, 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 no. This is definitely a ranch toy. This is called a potato cannon, or some people call it potato launcher. I like potato cannon. Something about the word cannon has got a good ring to it. Cannon, you know. But anyway, you may have seen these. There's lots and lots of plans for these on the internet. And I looked at a few plans on the internet, and then I made this on my own, and it worked pretty well. What happened essentially was that my, uh, my boy came to me. I think it was my boy, or was it Shauna, my daughter? I'm not, anyway, one of them came to me and said, Dad, let's build something today. I want to build something, because we build stuff. That's what we do. We're builders. I said, what do you want to build? I don't know. Let's build a toy. Let's build something. Let's build something that makes noise. So I thought for a minute, and I have the Big Bang Cannon. You may have seen that Big Bang Cannon, Big Bang Cannon that we already played with once. I thought, you know what? I could build a potato launcher, a potato cannon. And I said, okay, right after lunch. You see, that's a trick that old people have. Right after lunch, we'll do that. That gives you time to uh, do a bit of research. Uh, which is exactly what I did. And then we said, okay, we got to go to town. And we went to town and we bought all the materials. We went to Home Depot and we went to Walmart, two places. We went to Home Depot first and we bought a one foot piece of six inch sewer pipe, solid sewer pipe. Okay. And we bought a clean out. It's called a clean out that fits over that six inch. It's called a clean out because it fits over the six inch pipe and then it's got a sealed plug. You see this plug? It's got a it's got a plastic, plasticky, rubbery seal on the end. You have to have that. That's important. And then I bought a reducer, an adapter, whatever you want to call it. So it goes from six inch down to two inch. And then I got another uh, uh, adapter reducer bushing that went in there that goes from two inch down to inch and a quarter. Okay, simple. And then I bought a piece of inch and a quarter ordinary ABS pipe, plumbing pipe, drain pipe. And uh, this is this is two feet long. And we had all we needed. I already had some uh, plumbing pipe around. On the way out of the Home Depot, I went through the barbecue department. And I picked up something at the barbecue department as well, which I'll explain in just a minute. That's it. That's all you need. So, so far, you got about 35 bucks invested. Right? And then on your way home, you stop into, into Walmart and you pick up propellant. You pick up gunpowder. Now, you didn't even know that Walmart sold gunpowder, did you? <laughs> you wait, you wait. You'll see in just a minute. So what do you do when you get home? Well, simple enough. You take your six-inch piece of pipe. You put the, you put the uh, clean on on the end, and, and, and you make sure that it works properly. On the other end of the six-inch piece of PVC, uh, of sewer pipe, you've got to put your adapter in there. And your and, and your bushing and your two foot piece of, of of ABS pipe and you just glue them all together so you end up with this device. Now before you glue this on there, you have to do one more thing. The thing I picked up at, at Home Depot in the barbecue department was one of those barbecue lighters. You know, you push on it and it lights. It's got a little a little electronic device in there. Piezoelectronic, it's called piezoelectronic. Piezo means pressure. So when you put pressure on this device, it makes a spark, makes electricity, makes a spark. So, see, you can't see it, but inside, just the same as inside your barbecue, there's a little spark in there. So you buy one of those, you fit it, and put some glue around it. Glue the whole thing together, and there you go. You're almost done. I put a handle on mine. I look kind of neat. I like the idea of a handle. So I put a handle on, you don't need it. The other thing that you should do, however, on this end of the inch and a quarter uh, ABS drain pipe, on the outside only, take a file or a piece of coarse sandpaper and file it. So they eventually end up with a sharp edge. There's actually quite a sharp edge on that. Okay? And you're all set to go. A potato launcher. Kids love it. It's safe. It's noisy. Scares horses, dogs, cats, chickens, neighbors a little bit. And it's just so much fun. But let me show you how this nice, simple potato launcher works. So you're all set to go. You need two more things. First of all, you need a potato. You can't have a potato launcher without a potato. So you get a potato. Now you sharpen the edge of here, right? So you just put the potato on that sharp edge, and you go like that. That's all there is to it. Okay? 
Bang it down in there. Good and solid. So it seals nice and tightly in there. Good. Now, you get your gun butter. Remember the gun butter that you picked up at Walmart? Yeah, you get your gun butter. You get the gun butter in the drug section of Walmart. Yeah, it's called Clairol hairspray. Now, I've tried all kinds of stuff. I tried uh, 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 quick start, you know, for, for cars, you know, for start, starter for cars. I, I, I tried ether, all kinds of things. Hairspray. So you take the hairspray and you go like this. 1,001, 1,002. You ready? 1,001, 1,002. Just like that. And then quickly you put that over there, get rid of the gunpowder, and you put the cap on here nice and tight like this, and then you aim someplace safe. <laughs> Sorry! Scared the horses a little bit there. <laughs> there you go. Now you think your kid isn't going to love this? I got news for you. He's going to freak. He'll have all the neighborhood kids over. He'll be building his own. Keep an eye on him. Okay? Uh, but it is a lot of fun. Now you got to remember after you, after you do that, blow through it to clean it out. I'll do it one more time. Okay, Kevin, what do you want to shoot this time? You want to see if we can wake old uh, um, uh, Ricky up over there? Potato in the end, like that. Get her started. Give her a good bang. That's the same with shooting a muzzle loader. You know that? When I shoot my muzzle loader, it's just like this. Okay, we got the uh, ammo in there. All we need is a little bit of gunpowder, propellant. You ready? 1,001, 1,002. Just like that. That's plenty. Put the cap on there really quickly. Let's see if we can hit a chicken this time. I'll aim a little higher this time. Oh, the bird, the birdhouse. You ready? Oh, sorry, Montana. It's okay. It's okay, bud. <laughs> oh, I forgot. When you're at Walmart, pick up about a 10-pound bag of potatoes. You're going to need them. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Another ranch toy. And you built it yourself. Or maybe you got your kid to help you. So now he is now going to sense of pride. Look what I built. I uh, don't know if you want to take it to show and tell. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, take care. Alec Pierce at the ranch. See you soon.